Hi there, welcome to Exposed TV brought to you by Stealth Productions. I'm Sarah, your host, and I'll be introducing you to a phenomenon that's coming out of Guyana. He's a Guyanese recording artist whom we've been following, and uh, ever since we found him, we wanted to get him out to you as well so you can enjoy his music and experience what we've fell in love with since uh, early 2010. He is a very proud Guyanese, born and bred in Blackbush Polder. He is a true Barbishan, and he's here with us. Let's welcome my countryman and talented artist, Romeo Nirmo, also known as Mystic. We're yes. so delighted to have you in the sh on Exposed TV. Welcome. Yes, um, I must say it's a pleasure and um, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. Um, it's been years now in the making. And, um, you know, I'm here now, you know, and everything happens in its due time. So it's the best time now. Yeah. Well, with a sound like yours, many are speculating, myself included, that it's in the realm of that of the, the great Bob Marley, <laughs> your reggae music, that is. Uh, how do you feel about that? How did that all come about? Well, that alone, it, it, that's a great privilege to have my name, you know, um, put alongside the, the legendary Bob Marley, um, you know. I, I guess I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> But um, I'm on the road. I'm on, you know, I'm on the right track. I have the, the right people around me, and um, you know, the sky is our limit. You know, I never know. I, I could be even major than Bob Marley. <laughs> you never and know. And won't that be a hoot? <laughs> yeah. We want to see that. But for now, we just taking it easy and doing our thing. You know, Absolutely. making great music. Yes. Okay. Well, sitting alongside you here. I realize you're a young man. Not that it's look, looking any different on, on <laughs> online or anything. Um, but who are some of the artists that you're listening to currently? Well, um, I'm listening to um, Passenger right now. You know, he's a, a folk um, singer from England. Because mm -hmm. I listen to all kind of different music. Um, I was listening to Sam Smith. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay, that's um, I, I. I listen to a lot of Calypso, a um, lot of Trade Wind, Sparrow, Kitchener, you know, these kind of, a lot of Chutney, Babylon, Kanchon, and so, you know, you, you boys are wrong the Guyanese. I listen to everything, man. Real, a typical Guyanese. Yeah, man. But more so, I want to know who are some of the asp aspirational artists that's motivated you over the years to being where you are today? Well, um, like, for instance, Natural Black, you know, he's, he, he's a Guyanese legend. You know, um, I look up to him a lot. Um, Beres Hammond, uh, you know, Garnet Silk, you know, uh, Morgan Heritage, and these people in the reggae arena. Um, I, 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 I listen to like Movado and you know the dancehall thing. And I, I, as I, I, I'm a student of music. I listen to every type of music out there. You know, so I don't stick to like one, mm -hmm. you know, kind of music because you have to do that to be creative. You know, and you have to broaden your knowledge and so in the music game, you know. So I, I listen to a whole bunch of different artists. It depends on the mood you're in. Right. Yeah. In your own words, tell mm -hmm. us a bit about you, your music, and why it's essentially so different of a sound than what we've heard so long uh, coming out of other artists in the industry. Well, I'm just being me, just being real, you know, and that's one of the, that's one of the ingredients in this game, in this music, um, you have to be real and, and, and be a genuine product, you know? And that's what I've been doing from the inception at Brutal Track Studios. Um, whenever I go in the voice box to record, I never go, go there trying to song like someone or anything. Whatever you hear, it's what's coming out of me naturally. Okay. So definitely that would be something genuine, it'll be something real. And that's, that's, that's what the people will gravitate to because it's something real. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go on stage, you do the same thing. You be real on stage. As, you know, I would say, as a Guyanese, you can't paku people. <laughs> right, I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> you can't paku them, you yeah, understand? Mm -hmm. So when you go on stage and the people see that you're faking, they say, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying to talk that the way you don't know about, mm -hmm. they're going to realize and, you know, it's going to just blow by. You're going to just pass, pass right. over. But, once you're real up there, you're good. 
Yeah. So you, and you have that on your side because that's it's all it. Real. It's in the music. <laughs> it's how I move. It's everything. You know, you, you're gonna spend your your whole life being somebody else or doing something not. that you don't love. Nah, man. Right, right. <laughs> they make it. Now, so you are aware that the support from the Guyanese people is right on with you. You have their support. You have their, you know, their, uh, their. You're at. They're at your beck and call, really. Mm. Uh, whether it's the folks in Guyana, mm -hmm. those in New York and elsewhere, Guyanese everywhere, they've heard your music and they are jumping on the bandwagon. The youngsters are looking up to you as a young icon. Mm -hmm. Is that too tall of an order to uphold? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's too tall because it come back. It come back to the the, the same thing. You know, it just. I, I, I know what I'm doing and it's about positivity and I know people would appreciate it. If, if I go down the negative road, you know, it's uh, that's the, the, the negative vibe would be attached to me as well. So the positive vibe is attached to me so I can deal with it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just have to appreciate all the love <laughs> and just be me, you know, embrace it and, you know, enjoy the moment. I was enjoy hoping you'll, you'll be that very positive person that I... Mm -hmm. You know that we've all been seeing so yeah. I'm glad to hear that uh, like you I was raised in Burbies as well oh, and nice. <laughs> having the being uh, from Grove East oh, Bank mm -hmm. that came with its own challenges moving <laughs> from city to oh, I know, uh, I know. the country yeah. so tell us about some of the challenges you face as a Burbishan musician uh, well I basically started my musical career in George so I didn't really you know, have any challenge in, in, in with the music, <laughs> but like when I moved from Barbies, coming into Jarshong, you know, that was a bit of a challenge, changing schools and so forth. The music, I, I, I went into that, you know, okay. naturally, you know, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I, you are a farmer. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you grow? Uh, well, I, I plant. I'm, I'm currently planting rice. You know, um, but I have a, a fruit farm that I'm setting up. Um, I have like some lemon trees, some guava tree, mango tree. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. regular mm -hmm. things. You know, cause we eventually we have to go back to the earth. We gotta live. You know, a yeah. lot of people trying to move away from that, but we have to get back it's to that. It's all the natural stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yep. How often are you, for the year? How much of your time is spent doing that? Um, well, for this year, I haven't been much in the rice field uh, because of the musical, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, requirements for me. I have to be doing shows, I have to be recording and so But um, I went a few times, checked on the, the rice crop, but um, I have one of my cousins in Blackbush, Pola, that, that's where I'm from. <laughs> um, he is taking care of the, the rice and so for me, you know. So we, we, keep, we, we keep updating uh, uh, the process on you know, via texting <laughs> right, right. Stuff, oh, you know, so much really. technology these yeah. days. Mm. Uh, would I be correct in saying that you're in the business of feeding people? Really, yeah, you yeah. are growing their food, and music really yeah. is a food yeah. for the soul. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. How do you feel about you that, know that's, that's that's a, sort a, of a? That's a very um, great accomplishment. You know, um, you actually put it over really nice there. <laughs> um, you know, growing food and, and giving them soul food as well, as well, you know, and it's all wrong and good, you know, you can't go wrong. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, like many Guyanese, I would imagine, I'm, I'm speaking for quite, quite a few, mm -hmm. uh, what I ask, there's been a lack of, of uh, talent out there where, where it comes to someone representing Guyanese on the mm -hmm. world stage, uh, musically, of course. Yeah. Can you be that artist? Yes, I, I think I can do that very well. And I, I, I don't think there's a lack of talent in Guyana. What, what there is, there's a, a, a lack of um, youths that, that they, they just find themselves in the wrong surrounding. Because you can't do it alone, right? As a musician or as an artist, you can't do this thing alone. Right. You have to be around the right people that could guide you in the right direction. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of talented Guyanese artists they end up straying away from the goal mm -hmm. and they end, end up being like a cover artist, singing back people's songs, mm -hmm. songing good, and, and, and this is basically how they live. And they end up disappear because you don't want to see somebody on stage songing like somebody. You know, you're going to enjoy it for a moment. You want something genuine. And I must give thanks for, 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 for being, you know, in the right 
surrounding that brutal tracks you mm -hmm. know we always believe in doing our own stuff that's been our policy from day one mm -hmm. creating our own stuff and and that's how we we roll you know we we don't encourage all original it. yeah that's mm -hmm. it i personally i don't like the idea of going on stage just looking as we put it in the artist we're looking for a little forward you know mm -hmm. i you'd never find mystic going on stage and singing a berry salmon song Obviously, a lot of people know Barry's music. Mm -hmm. I could easily go on stage and jump up and sing a Barry's and get a little forward, but I ain't looking for that. When I go on stage and I I sing like five of my songs or or one or two and like three people raise their hand in the air, I, I have three fans right. because I'm building something original. Mm -hmm. So that and that is where a lot of Guyanese artists go wrong. They they're not prepared to go through that phase to build mm -hmm. build build themselves. And that's that's you know. It's a it shame. Is. Yeah, it's a shame. That's how it is. Uh, what do you say to a young, the next generation of artists coming out of the countryside? Um, I know you've done your work in Georgetown, but coming out of the countryside, since you live there, you yeah. know a lot yeah. more of how this works. Uh, with ta the talent, tremendous talent, yeah. but hardly the means to yeah. endure this industry. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say to them? Well, you got to you got to be you got to be um very you know aggressive with with, with your goal you know if, if this is what you're looking for you can't expect people to come looking for you you know it happens in the movies mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. once in a while mm -hmm. right? <laughs> right but you got to go look for your stuff it's basically i i i have to answer that question a lot like people would um people would reach me and say man must give me a little link up now let me go in the studio and thing I would give them that, but I can't. What else I could do? I can't help you write a song now, or, or I could maybe if you got vibe and anything. But you gotta go for that as well, you know, because that's how I, I am um, ended up at Brutal Tracks because I realized, you know, I wanted to do music. Um, I started to write in a very long time ago. I started to write and, and you know, I tried to run away from music. I started to do barbering, oh. open, yeah, open my own shop in in Blackbush and. I, you know, I, I couldn't stay away from music because before I go, go to sleep, I would be singing something. Them time I used to live with my grandmother in Blackbush and she used to sing. Like, you don't sleep because before I go to sleep, I sing. And when I wake up, I sing in my bed, right? <laughs> so granny used to ask me, man, if you don't sleep on some night, and I say, yeah, I sleep. But it's just the music was in me. I write and waking up 12, singing, you know, keeping melodies and this kind of thing. And when I, when I, uh, I decided, you know, because I'm a very shy kind of person, laid back kind of person, right? And um, uh, that's why a lot of people was really, really surprised when, when they hear me singing and thing because I used to be ashamed to let people <laughs> hear my songs and thing, you know? And that's when I said, you know, I want to do this. And that's how I ended up at Brutal Tracks. And it wasn't like going at Brutal Tracks and, and, and you gone straight up in the building, you mm -hmm. had to go and wait because it had a, a set of artists used to come out. So I actually waited like four days you know, going and coming, going and right. coming at Brutal Tracks and until Ken, the, the engineer at Brutal Tracks, he came down and he auditioned me. So if if I was like, I, if I had this in me, like, oh, well, I used a big singer <laughs> and um, this would come down to me already, I, I would have gone my way. Right. And this is where a lot of youths just got in the head. So, you know, you got to humble yourself because, mm -hmm. you know, you need help along the way. And that's how I um, ended up at Brutal Tracks. And from then to now, I'm at Brutal Tracks. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Uh, you brought up, you know, like doing or having uh, collaborations with people, which I'm sure you're uh, open to. You've done one of those duets with another uh, very well-known Guyanese artist, Lisa Punch, yeah, yeah. who's made a tremendous uh, wave here in the U.S. recently. Yeah, yeah. Who would be some of the artists out there you'd like to uh, duet with in the future? Well, I, I I would like to do do a song with one of, one of um, Bob Marley's son, maybe Junior Gang or Ziggy or one of them guy, you know. Okay. Because I genuinely love reggae music and and they're the the, the reggae family, family. yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So being in that clique there would be really nice to me, um, you know. Um, along the way, you know, I have other artists that I would like to do a collab with Dave Martin as well, mm -hmm. a Guyanese mm -hmm. hero, you know, right. um, very good songwriter and so on. This kind of thing is just. As the journey journey continues, it's time. you know, yeah, it's, it, we it's will be, you know, working on those stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now you're here in New York, 
mm-hmm. on what's been quite an anticipated visit. Yeah. <laughs> the new fans mm-hmm. have found you and uh, followed you due to one of your newer tracks, yeah, Coolie yeah. Dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's the difference between new f- the new fans mm-hmm. and the older fans who, I'm part of that, mm-hmm. uh, followed you for your reggae music? Well, the good thing about it is that because um, I was kind of skeptical at first, you know, um, they, they would they would like the coolie biting alone, and they, you know, they wouldn't embrace the reggae music. But the good thing about it is that they they, they are now like amazed, you know, because they never really expected that I had these kind of music that mm-hmm. had these strong songs, you know. They they thought you know just this coolie bite mm-hmm. song, mm-hmm. this fun thing, and that's it. But when I'm on stage now and, and delivering these reggae songs to them, you could see the amazement in, in their faces. Like, wow, you know, good, very good music coming out of Guyana. It's way beyond what they expected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because the Kuli Bai song is very good and it's a fun thing. Right. But, it, you know, it, that is it, a fun song. But then they, when I deliver the reggae songs, it's deep lyrics and so on. That's the, 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 that's the biggest part of the whole trip. Um, that was the, the, the one thing in my mind and that's that what I wanted to um, you know get over to them right and we have accomplished that so far you know they, they're getting to embrace the reggae music and that's what I really do and that's what I want them to embrace right yeah. widening your audience yeah, yeah obviously yeah. and we've been doing that well do you like what you're hearing so far folks well tell tell your audience mm-hmm. how they can find out more what's going on in your camp in mystics camp in the upcoming months the years uh, and how they can keep in touch with all that's coming out of your camp yeah well you could check me up on um facebook um romeo mystic nirmal right um you can get me on my fan page as well that's mystic you know um and the instagram setup you know um, mystic the real coolie boy you know on instagram and at brutaltracks.com you know, everything is there, you know. I'm not much of a technology guy and so, <laughs> but um, you get, you, you go on there and you can get his stuff and um, as we'll be working on some fresh music and so, so the music will be out soon and I'm sure with that you will be directed on where to get the music and everything. Yeah. And would you know, that's pretty much all the time we have, mm-hmm. really. <laughs> You've made this so very easy. <laughs> yeah, I told you that. <laughs> And I want to thank you so much for making the time and uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to being mm-hmm. here with us on Exposed TV. Yeah, well, I must say it's a, um, you know it's an honor again um, to, to be here, and um, it's been years. Uh, yeah, and I, you know, I got to know you and your husband really well from just talking mm-hmm. about this interview. You know, um, I must say, you know, thanks a lot um, for having me here. Um, I just want to say shout out to Brutal Tracks. You know, that's that's where I live. <laughs> um, Ganju Breed from Lion Star Records, you know, really genuine youth, you know, real good um, um, youth. Um, the whole thing about this trip is regretting I didn't meet the man in person for so long. <laughs> now I meet the man, the man's a real good chap, man. <laughs> um, the people from Fly Jamaica, I want to say much thanks, you know, much respect. Um, everyone, angels. Band, you know, Bishram, very good people, you know, everybody, Perry Gadraj and Waterford, everybody has been really, really nice. It's been a dream come true. And um, what, what should I say? Just listen out for many more beautiful songs from Mystic, you know, and representing Guyana and taking Guyanese music to the world and bringing home a Grammy very soon. Yep. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so I, I must thank you. I am very encouraged, very proud to You're be welcome. speaking to my fellow Guyanese doing his thing. Yeah. And I can only imagine how much more ecstatic the folks in Blackbush Polder yeah, yeah. are. Uh, yeah. Region 6 in general, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, Guyana, yeah. you know, we're so happy that they're able to share their son with us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, it, it, you know, uh, when I read some of the comments, on Facebook and, and so it, it gets you um, real worked up, real emotional sometimes, you know, because it's, it's been a very long road, you know, and um, I must say thanks, thanks <laughs> to all my fans, you know, you know, I just got to give thanks, man. Yep. Well, the sp- support is there. Yep. And to you, our audience, we thank you so much for joining us as we did this expose on Mystic. 
you get to know him a bit more, keep in touch and, and support him in all the support he needs. Uh, we must thank, a huge thank you to Brutal Tracks for making this happen. Uh, this interview would not have hap happened with one or, it didn't take one or two people to get it together, but it did and we thank them so very much for that, especially to Devin of Lion Star Records. KG Burbies. <laughs> he's been quite <laughs> instrumental in this, making sure that Stealth Productions was on the list of places that Mystic uh, visited. So we are quite happy for that and, uh, and to have him sit alongside me as we conducted this interview. So thank you very much, to Devin. And uh, once again, I'm Sarah with Exposed TV, right out of Stealth Production Studios here in Queens, New York. Yep. Always where your heart is. I don't have much to give. Oh no, but Black Bush, here's my gift to you. I'm just a country boy. From Black Bush Ponder, letting the world know, yeah, oh yeah. Let's be all and my be Tori, Johanna, and Yakasari. They might the place, make up this nice community. Work hard, eat good, and live happily. So no rain, we the bug down, we never lazy. Pick up the record, no man, Tennessee family. Them say be humble, but not take talks for nobody. A lot of man come looking for a life. I'm no when I'm get one I I'm just a country boy Big up, each and every rice farmer, every fisherman, every cash crop gardener. You want to see people work hard, well then come ya. Yeah. Talk about sport, well it start and it done ya. Yeah. Me I go big up them barefoot cow man. Them got lots of them favorite weapon. Humble people, but know where you get one. If you want to enjoy the wedding, I'm just a country show. boy. From Blanche's border, letting the world know, yeah, oh yeah. Humble people from Blanche's border, we know for fresh load, but no for more than water. And though the sun sometimes make me darker, we not mind weak man, can't be no fire.